Well, hello everyone and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. Today I wanted to do a picture out of this Butterflies and Gardens coloring book for adults. I was going to be doing a color and chat out of the intricate mandalas, uh, Jade Summer, one of uh, Jade Summer's more recent books, but because they are a little intricate it would have been kind of hard for me to do with marker and I wanted to color a picture with my, uh, my alcohol markers and yeah these are a little bit detailed uh, to do with alcohol marker I did do a few with my glitter gel pens already and they're perfect for that <laughs> so uh, this was a book that I recently did a flip through of um, and hmm, is that video going to be up before this one? can't remember if I published that one or not. I recorded a whole bunch of videos last week and I've been putting them out there, a bunch of flip through videos. So if I haven't, uh, you will be seeing that one shortly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the one that I thought we would color is this pretty butterfly. So I decided to use my Kelly Art markers and I went through and the numbers, the colors that I need are one through seven. So here your colors are listed over here. I went through and I picked out the seven colors so that it would save us a little bit of time. And I do have cardstock behind here. So let's start with number one, which is a yellow. Let's zoom in a little. Okay, so let's do all the number ones. So, I have not talked to you guys in a while. How is everybody doing? Life has been hectic for me. And that's why I meant to get a color and chat out last week. I know I keep saying that. I said that for my last color and chat. <laughs> but, oh my goodness sakes. This past weekend, we finally got all the old furniture out of the basement. My son and my future son-in-law came over. I mean, I had a big sectional. I had an old couch. I had two huge rocker recliners. Uh, what else did we have down there? Some mattresses. I knew name it. We we had to get rid of it and uh, would help so much as Bob ahead of time took the there was a queen size mattress, a hide a bed mattress in the sectional. So he got that completely out of there and then the sectional is actually in two pieces. It was a two piece sectional not a three piece and so he, he went down and he sawed each piece in half <laughs> and then the couch he sawed in half so it made things a little bit easier for the guys to carry up but still wasn't the easiest it uh and this was after my son ran a 5k <laughs> He said, no problem, Mom. So, okay. So, yeah, we got all that stuff out. All the old stuff in the back part of the uh, garage. Or garage. The basement, the unfinished side. There was so much stuff back there. It was unreal. My daughter had a bunch of stuff back there. And... Oh heavens, we had a big trailer full and we took one load to the landfill before that already and then in the back of the a pickup truck and then another load with the trailer and the pickup truck loaded full. <laughs> 
did all that Saturday and then on top of it this busy weekend my sister and her husband were here from New York and one weekend every summer they come and visit and so it's always a big to do in our family when she comes to Wisconsin so we always plan a bunch of outings and you know so there's all this prep for that menus and what we are doing and who's bringing what and you know <laughs> So, we had all those things to get to this weekend, too. So, yeah. Life has been hectic, and I've been trying to pack and clean for the move. So, it's just been really hard to get it doing a video. I just got done mowing lawn. <laughs> But I said, I am sitting down and I am doing a color and chat. Missed you guys. I hope everybody's week is going well. Bob had asked me over the weekend what I wanted for my birthday. And I'm like, birthday? Oh my God, I didn't even think of that. <laughs> Here, my uh, birthday is tomorrow, <laughs> and I didn't even think of it. Of course, you know, who counts birthdays anymore once you get up in your 50s? Yeah, once you hit 40. <laughs> eh, it's just another year, another birthday. So I'm like, I have no idea. <laughs> Who knows? So, yeah, I have not had much luck on the house hunting front. There have been a number of houses I've been interested in, and I've gone and looked at. And within one day, they are off the market. They are sold. Oh my God, I can't believe this. The, I mean, when they say it's a seller's market right now, they're not a kidding. I think just about every single house that I either went and looked at or I inquired about to my realtor. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, it was on, you know on the market for one day or on the market for two days and they have an accepted offer it's like oh my god the one house that i looked at when was it last friday last saturday and i just fell in love with it and so it actually had not had an accepted offer yet so for the first time we actually got to put a bid in and we gave them we put a bid in of a thousand more than asking price but of course we have to put a contingency in our buyers agreement that it's going to be based on selling this home which not all sellers like of course and, but we thought, you know, maybe with, you know, giving them a thousand more than asking price. No. We got our bid in at four. There was another bid that went in at five. And that night yet, they accepted that other bid. So, yeah. Disappointment to say the least. Uh, and yeah, others, again, on the market for one day and they're gone. There was one house that was on the market for three days, but, ah, uh, <laughs> this is getting so hard and so frustrating. There was one house that just came on the market a few hours ago. 
and my realtor let me know about it and I'm scheduled to go see it at 9 tomorrow morning and then another house that's on the market right after that. So we shall see and they're actually a little bit less than the one that we put a bid in on so the one tomorrow well the first one is actually five bedrooms but it's an older home um, so we shall see it has a really nice big deck two bedrooms on the main level and three upstairs and I told Bob I think that's all the ones no that's not what I told him <laughs> I uh, told him that you know of course I would want him to have one of the downstairs bedrooms and then the other bedroom I said I think I would prefer to actually have it as my coloring room and I would take an upstairs bedroom <laughs> because I color in the living room an awful lot and to have all of my coloring supplies upstairs would just be a pain plus I think it would just take a little bit more effort for me to get my butt up there and record <laughs> and I know me you know some there's some times where you know it takes a little bit of ambition now to come in here and, and record. Once I get recording, I'm fine. It's just getting up and doing it. Not always, but sometimes. So, yeah, but we'll wait and see what the house looks like. I have this habit of getting way too excited way too early only to be let down so and with this house just coming on the market I know I'm gonna have competition again so yeah but you know, in every other house on the market, you know, I've pretty much seen and either it was just not something I wanted or, you know, so when a new place does come on the market, it's like, hmm, let's see. Because... There's not necessarily a ton of them around here for sale. Well, and it's not even around here. We can't find anything in Marathon, so we'll have to move to Wassa, which is a ways away. But I guess as long as we would have a big enough yard and course the majority of the houses don't have attached garages once you have an attached garage to go back to an unattached is going to be hard you know especially when it's raining out and in the winter time when it's really cold and windy it's so nice to just pull it in the garage and you're out of the elements <laughs> When you come home with a bunch of groceries or you have little ones Ugh. but if it must be it must be Ooh, so far these these two colors are pretty together The little baby is doing well, little Levi. Can't believe that my little mini vacation is going to be over in a couple weeks. 
Holy Hannah, that time went fast. And that's why I want to have the rest of this house cleaned and, well, I mean, it, of course, doesn't all have to be packed because, you know, even if we sold the house tomorrow, um, still have a month or two before you'd be moving, so, but... I want to get all the cleaning done and whatever I can do before the kids come back. I'm going to have my carpets and my furniture professionally steam clean for a change and I already told Jaden, I said there's going to be no eating or drinking in the living room. <laughs> He's like, what? I said, nope. We will, if you want something to drink, it stays in the dining room where there's hardwood floors. <laughs> and we will be eating at the table. Because we normally never eat at the dining room table. It's always in the living room. I know, that's not a good thing. I just never grew up where we ate at a dining room table. <laughs> we always ate in the living room. So I guess, you know, what you grow up with is kind of what you follow into your adulthood, right? There are so many fun things that happened when uh, my sister was here. We uh, went to my one sister's for a cookout. It was really good. She's got a big above-ground swimming pool, so the kids could all go swimming, even though it was a little cold around here. Yes, cold. <laughs> and uh, then the next day we had kind of a pizza party by my other sisters so that was fun now is this background all oh, the backgrounds background is four orange hmm I was hoping it was going to be black because this blue is bleeding. It's kind of hard to get in the really tight corners here. <coughs> so, at my sister's when we were there with the pizza party, my niece is just, oh, she cracks everybody up. We keep telling her she should be a stand-up comedian. <laughs> she is just so funny. And it's just one thing after another. They have amateur night at a place in Wassa, and we keep telling her she's got to go there. We'd all go to see her, that's for sure. And she was thinking about it, but it just never happened. She ended up pregnant and had a baby. I guess that kind of takes priority. But little Lila's getting older now, so she is thinking about it now. But she was sitting there, and all of a sudden, she was across the room, and, and us sisters were talking, and we heard the weirdest sound, and we're like, what the heck was that? And then it came again. And here it was my niece doing a turkey call. And was it funny? Oh my heavens, she just had us in stitches. And what was even funnier is I made the sound back. <laughs> and my sisters all looked at me like, 
how the heck are you doing that? I, I don't want to make the sound here on camera because it's kind of loud. <laughs> and oh my God, we were all laughing so hard. And my niece is like, we should go to Walmart and be on opposite sides of the store and call each other. <laughs> and she sits there and flaps her arms out and gets her neck going like a turkey. Oh, God, it was so funny. Yep, that's our family. We are all goofy. <laughs> it was hilarious. You had to be there, I guess. It's not near as funny when you try to describe it. <laughs> so yeah, we had a good time. It just goes by too fast. So yeah, it was definitely a busy, busy weekend. There was no downtime at all. And I have just been so dead tired. I normally stay up till midnight and past few nights I have not made it past 10.30. <laughs> oh. So yeah, what have you guys been up to? We are unfortunately coming to the end of summer see that's another reason I don't look forward to my birthday is because I know summer's coming to an end then when you hit Labor Day and you know it's really coming to an end and our fair here in our town it's called Marathon Fun Days and that's always Labor Day weekend. And so, yeah. Once Marathon Fun Days hits, yeah. Yeah, no, too. Summer's coming to an end. It's so depressing. Pretty soon the leaves are going to be changing. Ugh. I know they're pretty and everything, but... I have a hard time enjoying them because I know what's coming next. Ugh. Yeah, I don't even want to think about it. It's depressing. For any of you guys in the north, you know what I'm talking about. Unless you participate in winter sports, then it's a different story. You know, if you ski or snowmobile... You know, then, you know, you're probably looking forward to winter, but the others of us are not. Although Bob doesn't mind it, but he doesn't mind getting cold. I hate the cold, and he hates the heat, and I do not mind the heat. <laughs> it means I can go outside in shorts and bare feet and enjoy it. And we, you know, typically we don't get that hot of weather here. You know, we'll get some humidity and stuff. This summer, yeah, we did get some pretty hot weather for us anyhow. And then we had the high humidity with it. I very rarely turn on the central air but yeah we had it on for a while this summer <laughs> it's another thing i'm surprised at a lot of these older homes that we're looking at the vast majority of them do have central air installed it's like that it just shocks me because you really don't need it you know in the south i could see where it's a necessity absolute necessity just like here, a furnace is a necessity. Whereas down there, well, it probably is a necessity because I know it can get cold there too. To the point where you, you know, you would need some heat. But not like we need it when, you know, we get below zero and 
below zero is putting it mildly sometimes. You know, you have 30, 40, 50 below wind chill factor. Yeah, you kind of need a furnace. A good furnace. Like this past winter, that was so miserable. There, we got one side done. Well, of the blue. <laughs> We'll start the other side. And then we have some threes in here. And the fours is the vast majority. <laughs> all of this is going to be, you know, all orange. So it should be interesting to see how this looks. And that's why I thought this large print color by number would be fun because you can do it with alcohol markers and they don't take long to do if you want to just sit down and do something without a lot of thinking <laughs> you know something you can sit down and do in an hour hour and a half depending on how detailed it is this one wasn't real detailed and that's kind of why I picked it because there are some things I have to do yet tonight. I have to hop in the shower yet. And, you know, kind of chillax a little bit. <laughs> I got a few other things I want to get done. Catch up on some YouTube videos. I'm getting so far behind. I got to answer comments. I haven't gotten to that in a couple days. <coughs> so yeah, I'm getting kind of behind. I apologize if anybody has left me a comment or sent me an email. Because, yeah, I'm getting kind of behind. But I will answer you. I love reading all of your comments. You guys are awesome. And some of them are just hilarious to read. <laughs> I appreciate all of you. It's very rare, very, very rare that I get any kind of derogatory comments. So. I think since I've started this channel that has only happened maybe a couple of times and that's it and I know from other color tubers that you know it definitely can happen unfortunately it's like if you don't like the video don't be rude just don't watch it <laughs> you know there's no reason for that if you don't like it, you don't like it. That's fine. Everybody's entitled to their own opinion, right? But then leave it at that. And if you want to give it a thumbs down, then give it a thumbs down. That's fine. You have your right to do that too. But again, leave it at that. Because once in a while it just starts drama and definitely don't want drama on our YouTube channels and that does happen and it especially can happen in I don't know if any of you watch live streams can happen in there too that is something I most likely will never be doing. I think I would have a really hard time doing live streams. <laughs> because I would be so busy watching the chat and trying to, you know, keep up with that and, and interact with you guys that I would not get any coloring done. <laughs> it would not be a color in chat live it would just be a chat 
maybe with a coloring book flipped open in front of me <laughs> with no color on it. <laughs> I don't know how these gals can do it. You know, I'll participate in some of the the live streams and it's like I don't know how you do it. You can watch the live chat and talk and you know respond to comments as they pop up and sometimes those go by very fast <laughs> and yet you can color too it's like wow that's coordination <laughs> i don't think i'm that coordinated so yeah i have not even really looked into it to see how it's done or anything because it's not really something that entices me I guess is the word yeah I am so glad some people could do it I like live streams when I can catch them can't always do that can do it a little bit more now that I don't have the kids yet, but most of the time I'm still busy and it's hard to catch them. <coughs> Let's see. So yeah, after this, I have a couple things to do, hop in the shower, but then I hope I can catch up on some YouTube, do a little bit of coloring. I have not diamond painted in a coon's age. Everybody heard of that term, a coon's age? Another saying, where the heck did that ever come from? <laughs> That'll happen a lot. I'll say some saying, and it's like, now where in the world did that come from? And nine times out of ten, one of you guys or multiple of you several of you multiple of you oh they know exactly where it came from and so i learned so much from you guys <laughs> Ooh, we're looking so pretty Not that we have a lot of different colors in this thing yet. <laughs> we have yellow and we have blue. Hope this isn't boring you. <laughs> Although I know the vast majority of you are probably coloring or diamond painting or doing some other craft because it is Tuesday night and I am hoping I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this up yet tonight or if it is going to be tomorrow morning because it is already eight o'clock at night and depending on i mean this is i'm assuming going to be over an hour color and chat and yeah that that just takes a while to transfer over to my computer and then render it in the editor and get it into youtube and upload so it may be tomorrow morning But I'm going to try for tonight. Depends upon how tired I get. 
<sighs> so much to do, so little time. Especially if we do end up putting a bid in on a house. Well, I gotta get my house on the market. But it is not quite ready. It's getting there, but it's just not quite ready. And I gotta get some of these boxes. Huh? Uh, one moment, please. Alrighty, I am back. So, let's continue with this blue. I promise we'll be going on to another color pretty soon. <laughs> let's see, what is number three? Light green. So yeah, I was going to do a mandala tonight, but like I said, those got to be done with gel pen or else. Well, I guess I could have done one with water-based markers, but I didn't think I would have time tonight to do that. It would have to probably be a two-part coloring chat because, yeah, those mandalas would take a little bit of time to do. And I just don't have the time for that tonight, unfortunately. I don't even want to start thinking about uh, packing up my coloring books and my supplies. <laughs> I told Bob I'm going to need, you know, 20 boxes just for that. <laughs> Well, I don't know if, you know, he's probably going to give me money for my birthday tomorrow. What I should get. Gosh, should it be coloring related? Heaven knows I don't need any more diamond paintings. And I really don't need any more coloring books or supplies, but... We don't really need any of them, do we? <laughs> I think the collecting, at least for me, the collecting is and organizing is as much fun as doing the actual coloring. <laughs> That's bad, isn't it? I guess there's worse things to be addicted to, right? I could be a druggie or an alcoholic or addicted to gambling. Now that would be a lot, well, all of those would be a lot more expensive, I think, than being addicted to coloring. <laughs> oh my gosh, I think we're done with the blues. Okay, let's go on to the threes, which again is light green now the only color that i could not find to match up well cali arts i absolutely love these markers but there are a couple of color by numbers that ask for a magenta and there really isn't a good magenta in this set <laughs> Otherwise, these are one of my favorite, if not my favorite, brand of budget-friendly uh, alcohol markers. I will link them down below, along with this book, in the description below. If you are in the market for some alcohol markers, these are fantastic and they do all in all have a very nice selection of colors nice and juicy the 
This paper actually takes them pretty good. They don't bleed outside the lines much. It's just outside the lines because of me. <laughs> Especially in some of these tighter areas. Kind of hard, like I said, to get in there with a, even with a bullet tip. But yet, because these are, you know, the bigger, more simplistic color by numbers, um, there's some large areas too, so definitely couldn't use fine liners in this. But I think like the Statler 326s and some of those would work really good. Or if you have any brush tip, um, water-based markers. Like I just, I uh, recently did a review on the Limoche. Uh, now, were they just, oh, those might have been just fine liners. I was thinking they were brush tip and fine liners. I can't remember now. My brain is just kind of fried lately. <laughs> Once my brain gets fried, my memory banks are gone. <laughs> Not that I have a great memory to begin with. As they say, it's good, but it's just short. I have a good memory, it's just short. Oh, I love the blue in this together. That's pretty. Can't imagine what it's going to look like with the orange in the background, though. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. It's not colors that I guess I would have picked out, but that's the fun part of doing color by number, I think, is seeing all the colors that the illustrator picks out. Now, I don't know truly if, you know, the illustrator of the book just draws the pictures and then somebody else picks out the colors, or if they specify the colors, I have no idea. Can't imagine who else would be picking out the colors. I would think the illustrator does. Hmm, not too many threes. So then we'll be doing all the background of this butterfly. Once we get that done, we'll be on the home stretch. Now it does have a background I see of 11, which is a pink. I don't know if I'm going to do that on camera or not. I suppose I should because that's really gonna you know show the entire picture but we'll see how long this goes I think I was over a half hour for the first part I don't know I didn't really look before I paused now I'm sure this is going to go over the blue a little bit but oh well It'll be okay. Because these are kind of skinny areas here. when we were moving all the furniture out of the basement over the weekend and onto the trailer and Heather's boyfriend had a great big covered trailer down here because they had gotten they were taking Bob's bed that he had before he had his cancer surgery and now he has to have an adjustable bed because he has to sleep 
at at least a 30 degree angle his head has to be raised so we had this spare bed and so we gave it to Heather and so they came and they picked up that and then I gave them my patio table and chairs so they picked all that up when they came down last Saturday and so you know then my son and my future son-in-law were here and so there was a lot of activity going on and I guess Bob was taking Bella for a walk and when he went past my next door neighbor's house she was out there and she had made a comment to Bob something about what you guys moving or something moving all that furniture out and I don't think she expected Bob to say yeah <laughs> I think she was just you know trying to be funny and uh, yeah well why are you moving Bob says to find something more affordable taxes are too high in this town <laughs> which they are taxes are unbelievably high in Marathon I mean on on this house I pay four thousand dollars in taxes every year I mean, it's that's nuts it's not like I have a million dollar home I can't imagine what taxes would be on a million dollar home and I don't understand why our taxes are so high because it's not like we have fancy schools here or you know anything that would require that high of taxes we did have a school referendum go through you know a couple years ago so I know that it raised a little bit because of that but they were high before that went through so I don't know I know the houses I'm looking at boy the taxes are a heck of a lot lower than here of course the houses I'm looking at are much cheaper too but still this is a very colorful butterfly we'll have to see what it's going to look like by the time we get done with this first wing oh especially with that lime green Ooh. Yeah, this orange is definitely going to take the longest. Going around all these things. <laughs> so yeah, I don't think I'm going to have time to do the entire background. And there won't be a, near as much to go around the background. You're just going around the butterfly, but would still take a little bit of time to do so but I do like to completely finish a picture on camera once I start it you know that <laughs> that's why some of my color and chats have gotten as long as they have don't think I'll ever make another four hour color and chat though that was a little too long I mean I can't imagine you guys listening for four hours you would have had to split it up over a number of days <laughs> I wouldn't have been able to listen to me talk for four hours I have no idea what I found to talk about for four hours.
even tonight. You know, my brain is pretty much on one thing and one thing only, as you can tell, because I've been talking about it the most. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Probably boring you guys to tears. And I don't have any Maddie stories. Don't really have any funny stories. Other than our turkey calls. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> oh, man, oh, man. Yeah, like I said, that's our goofy family. But especially her. Oh, God, she is so funny. She always gets has us in stitches. Thought maybe motherhood would have changed her, but nope. Still the same girl. <laughs> and she's always been like that, too. Such a card. Good heavens, these wings are taking a while. <laughs> Going around all that stuff. See, let's start down here. Couldn't imagine coloring this with anything other than marker. <laughs> like doing it with pencil or gel pen. Oy vey. No, thank you. These definitely were made for markers, whether it's water based. Or, I think alcohol base works much better. But either or, yeah, would definitely work. Zoe, you wouldn't have a problem with this at all with, with water base. Man, how you can fly with them water base markers. <laughs> Okay, we got one part of a wing done. Woohoo! That is a colorful butterfly. Don't think I've ever seen a butterfly look like this. I would have to do a double take if I seen one this bright. <laughs> I think that's why it's fun to color these because they're not necessarily realistic, but they're so colorful. I'll be curious to see what uh, some of the other pictures look like. What colors. That's why I like the uh, Mystery Mosaic color by number books and some of like Sun Life drawings books with the lines and the dots and things because you don't know what it's going to be. You're surprised. Speaking of Sun Life drawing, that has been my stress relief at night. That has been pretty much exclusively what I have been coloring out of <laughs> is my Sun Life drawing books. Right now, I've been doing a bunch out of the Dots books. So I probably won't have a whole lot of uh, other books to show for my end of the month what I colored video. Just been too hectic. Do have a couple of things. Whips, yes, I have whips and it's driving me crazy. I have two of them, but I just haven't gotten back to them yet. By the time I actually get to sit in my chair at night, it's like, no, nah, I don't want to get that out. Let's just pick up a gel pen and 
color one of these one color dot pictures. <laughs> and it's just so stress relieving. I love it. Turn on some YouTube and catch up on those. So much fun. Yeah, I definitely got to get caught up. There's quite a number of them that I have not watched yet. Which is kind of nice on the one hand. Because you know you got something to watch. I don't know if... Miss Anne, if you have something out there for me to watch. I always have to watch for her videos. But I don't know if she was putting anything out this early in the week or not. And America's Got Talent is on right now, so I'm going to have to watch it back later. Thank heavens for DVRs. <laughs> and because I have Dish and I have primetime recording set up, it automatically records everything from 7 to 10 on all of the not all the cable channels, but CBS, ABC, and NBC. So, it is automatically recording. And then it keeps it for a week. Although I have noticed that some are there longer than a week, and I have not figured that out. So I used to think that it was, that it kept everything for two weeks, but it doesn't. I was going to go back and watch two episodes that I had missed of The Good Fight. I don't know if any of you watched The Good Wife when it was on. Oh, I loved that show. So when the good fight came out, I'm like, oh, yes. And there were a couple of weeks in a row, because it was on Sunday nights, where I couldn't catch it. And naturally, that was one where it only kept one week's worth. So I was a couple weeks behind already. And it's like, oh, it doesn't pay to try to get caught up now. If I, I am one where if I miss a show, I can't pick up the next show because I miss some, some things. <laughs> I don't know if I'll be able to eventually watch the whole season somewhere. Because I think it was just like a short, not like a mini series, but yet it was only going to be on for like the summer for a few episodes. Like, I don't know, eight episodes or something like that. So it wasn't something that was going to be back for the fall season or anything. It was just kind of like a summer show. At least that's what I think it was. So I don't know. I don't know if. And I don't have CBS All Access because it was a, I believe it was a CBS show. So, yeah. I believe all the episodes were available to purchase on Amazon right off the bat, but I wasn't going to pay for them. <laughs> And I'm still not going to pay for them. I pay enough for cable. I don't need to pay for that too. That's something I have been toying around with. Is cutting the cord. <laughs> we really don't watch cable during the week much. 
once in a while if there really isn't something on especially in summer so many repeats in some of the really dumb summer shows that are on all the game shows that are on in summer and of course you always got your bachelor and bachelorette and I'm sorry to those of you who love those shows but Bob and I do not like those and then they had Love Island every single night of the week ugh it's a good heaven how many of these love shows you guys going to put on? Because <laughs> uh, to me, they're so dumb. Not to everybody, obviously, or they still wouldn't be on. And Bachelor and Bachelorette wouldn't be how many seasons in. So it's obvious that many of you out there do like them. It's just not my cup of tea I'm not real big into reality TV shows at all anymore I used to really love Big Brother that was about the only one that I really watched and even that one now is just me so this year for the first time I have not even watched Big Brother and I used to always watch it. Had to make sure every, what was it? Tuesday, Wednesday, and Sunday nights. It was three nights a week. So, somebody that hates Big Brother is probably saying too, ugh, three nights a week. Just like I said about Love Island, ugh, five nights a week. But it is good that we all like something different, right? Variety is the spice of life. Just like we all like different coloring books, and that's good too. We all have different tastes. Which is awesome. We can support all these awesome illustrators. I keep hearing the rumor that, oh, the coloring, the adult coloring craze is slowing down. I have been hearing that for like a couple years now. It's like, no, I don't think it is. <laughs> if you hear that too, there'll be like stories on the web and stuff. Oh yeah, you know, there's... It's just not that big of a thing anymore. And it's like, uh, I beg your pardon? Yes, it is. There are a lot of us out here, right? That's why they keep coming out with tons and tons of new coloring books. And we keep buying them. <laughs> Well, okay, I'm just speaking for myself. Ah, uh, come on. I know some of y'all are as bad as me. Fess up. Just like coloring supplies. How many of you out there have multiple brands of markers and pencils, you know, water-based and alcohol-based markers and all these other things, things for backgrounds. And I know you do. How many coloring books do you have? I used to know exactly how many I had because of the app that I showed, I demonstrated in a video a long time ago. I think that's when I first started my channel. 
in the beginning of the year and I made sure that I you know anytime I got a new book because it automatically scans the code on the back of the book so it's not like you're inputting anything and 99 percent of the books are in there anything on Amazon will be in there because it uses the Amazon database as well of a, as a few others so just about anything and everything is in there but I have gotten rid of a number of books <coughs> that I just no longer cared for and you know got number of new ones and you know before I realized it I probably had a few dozen that didn't get inputted in there plus I had no idea what all books I had gotten rid of so yeah my uh, app is very outdated well not the app but the data in the app is very outdated now so I really don't know how many I have who out there has 20 or less coloring books who has between 20 and 50 coloring books who has 50 to 100 coloring books who has 100 to 200 coloring books who has over 200 coloring books as Lisa's hand raises <laughs> let's see let's continue with this we don't get a marker line here I got some up there I know but yeah that's okay It is going to be kind of funny if uh, this video goes up before I have the flip throughs up. Well, I know what I'll do if I did not post it. Because like I said, I recorded so many flip through videos. I can't remember which one I put up already. But while this is copying over to my computer, I am going to double check and <laughs> If I have not published that video, I will publish it right away. So then that one will be up before this one. Because, yeah, that would be kind of funny saying, yeah, I recently did a flip through of this book, so we're going to color out of it. And you guys are like, what? When did you do a flip through of that? I think she's losing her marbles. Yes, that's besides the point. We won't talk about that, though. It's nice in my little world. <laughs> Come join me. <laughs> lot less stressful <laughs> don't you wish you could go just cocoon yourself for a while and not have to think about anything not worry about anything wouldn't have to worry about bills or you know he could just do whatever you wanted. You could color all day long and do your other crafts all day long if you wanted. There we got all the orange done. Yes. Like I said, that took the longest. Okay. Now we do number five, which is magenta. 
and I had to use more of a purple than magenta yeah this is the one boy it's looking really dark on here though holy shkamoli I hope it lightens up some because there is also a dark purple and I wanted to pick something that would be kind of contrast a little bit but wow this is going on really dark in the camera it's so dark it looks black and it's not supposed to be black is the next color <laughs> <laughs> and that, those were the only ones. So now six is black. So we're going to alternate between black and dark purple. Well, it's going to look all black, I think. And then it doesn't have the antennae any color. I think I'm going to make them black. It doesn't have a number in there. Let's see. Let's do these sideways. So yeah, I I don't think you're going to be able to distinguish a difference between this black. At least not on camera. I may be able to see it here, but I don't know because I picked a pretty dark purple. I wish they had maybe a little bit more contrasting colors than that. But we shall see. see how long is it okay so this is what about an hour now yeah and it's nine o'clock which I know typically is not that late for me but I do have things to do yet And hop in the shower. Okay, now we're going to, oh no, I'm going to color these black. That's right. I don't think they should be white. So you can see this ink does not bleed out at all which is unusual. If you would compare this to the paper that Jade Summers is printed on, Jade Summer, that I think is paper that bleeds the most out of anything. <laughs> Any paper that I have colored on, I think that paper bleeds the most and I'm not talking about bleeding through the paper because alcohol markers should bleed through paper if you have any kind of juicy marker whatsoever it should bleed through the paper but uh, I'm talking about bleeding outside the lines and this one's not bad at all so you can tell it's definitely different paper than what Jade Summer books are. Yeah, up close I can see a difference. Like I said, I don't know if you can on camera or not. Just a little maybe. <laughs> not much. And that magenta lightened up a little bit. I don't know if you can tell that on camera or not. But still really is not magenta. 
That's okay. Doesn't have to be. Like I said, you don't have to match exactly. Just so you get something kind of close. I mean, you wouldn't have wanted to color the background of the wings purple or something. You at least want to get in the same realm of color. <laughs> well, let's go ahead and start coloring the background. We'll see how long it's going to take. I'm going to use the chisel tip for a change. You know me and chisel tips. Okay, let's see. I have my handy dandy color chart. What pink would go good? Hmm. <laughs> I think maybe this pastel rose. R304. Whoopsie. R304. Okay. And yeah, let's go with the chisel. My enemy. And I know I'm going to get lines in this because it is such a large area to color. But that's okay too. I'm not too worried about that. Ooh, that's a pretty pink. I like that. I thought for sure it was going to be a blue background. No butterfly in the sky. <laughs> you can see my paper underneath. Another sign of a juicy marker. That's why these Kelly Arts are so nice. And they seem to last a long, long time. Let's turn the book and go this way. So yeah, I guess we will do the background. <laughs> I think this is going to go a little bit faster than what I thought because of the chisel to it. And the fact that I'm not doing a neat job at all, am I? <laughs> Now I know it's a nine because um, America's Got Talent is off and what is it called? Bring on the funny or bring the funny? Does anybody watch that? I don't typically watch that show. <coughs> After America's Got Talent goes off then it's then it's usually YouTube time and coloring. And if I'm not busy doing something else. Do many of you guys color at night? Or do you color in the morning? Or both? <laughs> I think maybe it should have been a lighter pink for the background. But what was on the back cover kind of looked a little bit darker like this. But I think a lighter pink would have looked much better. Because now it looks like it's fighting with the orange. <coughs> and it looks much darker on camera than what it does in person because on camera this looks almost red and it's not 
<laughs> and this looks quite bright and it's much lighter in person on camera it looks like a watermelon <laughs> pink and it's not quite that dark but it's still darker than I would want it so yeah it definitely should have been lighter and I guess I will just know that for future pictures Yeah, we're on the home stretch now, folks. Let's take the big side. It's the only time I like the chisel tip. <laughs> Are any of you guys fans of the chisel tip or do you like the fine nib like I do? I just, I don't know. I just don't feel like I have as much control with the chisel. Even though, if you get used to it, you probably, in reality, would have more control because you can do thick and thin lines with it. But, I guess I just have not had enough experience with it to... To really get a handle on it, to get used to it. Look at how juicy. Mm. I mean, when it covers this easy, you know you got a juicy marker. And I've used these a number of times. So, to have them this juicy yet is awesome. And I know that many, many of you do have these. And I believe everybody pretty much likes them. Yeah, I am not happy with this pink at all. Kind of ruined the picture. Now I, I really wish I wouldn't have done the background. <laughs> or just, you know, nothing saying you have to color what they specify either. I think I would have much rather went with a really light, pretty, like cloud blue. I think would have been really pretty on this. But, oh well, live and learn. I sure hope not all the backgrounds for the butterfly pictures are this pink. But, even if they are, I now know that I will change it. <laughs> right? Like Dee Dee Willingham says, you are the boss of your coloring book. You do what you want. There is no coloring police that is going to come down and tell you, you cannot color that blue. Lightning bolt will not come down out of the sky and strike you dead. <laughs> okay, maybe that's being a little over dramatic, but you know what I mean. Flip. So are you guys coloring? Mm -hmm. And if so, what are you coloring? Are you coloring with marker two? Pencil? A gel pen? 
<laughs> oh, you can tell I'm getting tired. Getting slap happy. We're almost done, folks. Boy, this background didn't take near as long. Now, this is another thing. Can you imagine doing this with pencil or, heaven forbid, gel pen? Well, pencil would be just as bad. Even water-based markers wouldn't have gone as fast as this. <laughs> wow! There is our gorgeous butterfly. Yeah, definitely got ruined with the pink. But yes, live and learn. So don't look at the pink. Just look at the pretty butterfly. <laughs> yeah. So these colors actually together did turn out kind of pretty. Again, it's not colors I probably would have put together, but like I said, it's kind of neat to see the uh, color combos that these illustrators put together. That's why I love the um, color by number books that Sun Life Drawing puts out. Uh, my last color in chat, I did a picture out of each version. One was a color by number version mandala and then one the exact same mandala and I picked out the colors. But the color by number version, it's really, really interesting to see the colors that they put together. And if it's a palette you end up liking, I usually, I'll jot them down in my notebook. So that in the future, I can try putting those colors together again. Anyhow, this is the end of this color and chat. I hope you enjoyed your time with me tonight. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe if you are new to my channel. Again, I hope everybody's having a terrific day. I am I should have a good day tomorrow. Tomorrow being my birthday. Um, so, don't know if we'll be going out to eat maybe. Hmm. Anywho, we shall hopefully see you... Uh, a little bit sooner than I have been in my coloring and color and chats. It's only, I think, once a week. No, I think last Tuesday was my last color and chat. And then I think it was a week before that that I did a color and chat. So I do apologize. I am hoping to get back to at least a couple of color and chats a week. So don't hold me to that, though, for the next who knows how many weeks um, when I'm still crazy busy here, but I will try to do better, okay? <laughs> okay, we will talk to you all later. Bye-bye.